Hey guys, it's Allison here, and I am finally coming to you with day number seven for load 219. I've done some prep work, sort of learned from yesterday's like <laughs> epic session. Um, so I've done some prep work, so hopefully today I can get this done in a sort of reasonable amount of time. Um, I had one photo from yesterday that I did not use. Um, I just couldn't seem to fit in the photo I had taken of our of what our elf Susie was getting up to. So I'm gonna include it today. And um, what I have is one of these um, flip pockets. And so I'm gonna attach this to the page protector for day number 24. And Susie will be on the front of that. And then when you flip it over, she's also gonna be on the back, but that's gonna be where she was on Christmas Eve. And then I've got the photos from Christmas Eve. Um, they decorated cookies, and then we went for a walk and saw the lights. So I kind of pulled everything together. We just, it was a quiet evening at home. We played some games, my daughter fell asleep on me, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's what I have. I've sort of pulled some papers and things, and now I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna put these aside for one moment. I'll work on Susie first. Now I've kind of hacked apart a journaling card. So this was a four by six journaling card and these presents were um, there on that side and then when you flip it over there's a different version of them. Um, because it's going in this way it felt awkward to have the presents in that direction so I decided to cut them out and then I'm going to just kind of fill in the gap with some scraps of patterned paper and create this sort of layered effect behind Susie. I'm going to use a little bit of vellum as well and then have the presents up on pop dots because um, this was from the 23rd and I believe Susie was trying to tell us that we needed to wrap some presents. <laughs> so let's get started by sticking some of this down. And I purposefully want this quite uh, haphazard, you know, higgledy-piggledy a bit. This was something that I had cut previously from a 4x6 journaling card. Uh, it must show up earlier in my album, I just don't remember where anymore. And because the vellum see if there's a right side and a wrong side. Because it's going to go behind the photo, um, I'm not super, or yeah, behind the photo, I'm not super worried about where the um, adhesive is going to be on that. I'm trying to decide, yeah, I just kind of want the photo, I want it inside this gold box, but I want to overlap as many layers as possible. And then these I'm gonna put on some pop dots. Oops. Random Q-tip. Find all sorts of things in my craft room. And if you've been watching any of my videos over the, the years, <laughs> I guess I can say that. Um, I love my pop dots. I don't like uh, there to be any sort of possibility of um, sagging or yeah, sort of creases in it once I have it in my album. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. And then I need a little tiny bit of journaling just to indicate why this photo of Susie is here. And I want to add, oh, clearly some of the tape went through there, that's fine. Um, I want to add um, like the numbers, 23. I've already used my little gold 
23, but I have these that I can add either in the black or the white. And I'll see once I add my little journaling um, strips here. All right, how are we going to add these? I hadn't really got this part through. Um, I don't mind that, but I'm going to bring them down a bit lower. Try and connect them more to this sort of embellished area down here. They were feeling quite removed up there. Let's just quickly write in what's going on. I think I'll use the white ones. I don't really want giant giant black number 23 because I want this to be subtle okay and just like yesterday I'll get all these basic layers done and then I'll come back and do my journaling so then this is from the 24th and I'm using this paper that has all the sort of baking and stuff on it and I don't have any layers under this right now um, but I think I will add a label and I think I'll add my 24 here as well okay so Still need something more behind that. Get some paper layers in there, I think. <laughs> All right, let's see what this looks like, shall we? Before I stick everything down. That is one layer too much, so we're not going to put that one there. At least to my eye, it's one layer too much. Other people, maybe not. Maybe I don't have enough layers. That's kind of the beauty of these. Make it your own, right? Let that dry. Oh, and I was going to add my 24, wasn't I? thinking it was all kind of in a line and I could have it up there but I don't like it up there I want it all 
down there. Okay, so that part is done. Now, let's look at these pocket pages. I think I need to trim my 24 a tiny bit. somehow but I'm not really convinced I was just looking to add just a little bit of layering behind it but I don't really have anything out on my desk that is sort of speaking to me oops writing's upside down let's make sure that's right way up this is just an off cut from a journaling card that I used earlier. I just thought it would give some nice contrast. And then I need a label for here. Go back to my trusty label sheet. I think the, the um, one of the prompts for today was to use something red and glittery so I'm definitely going to bring in my red sequins today. I also feel like using a lot of red papers and um, embellishments is kind of on, on prompt. And it's appropriate that the number 24 there is red. All right, so let's see what I can embellish these with before I go any further. Bring in my stack of embellishments. I don't think the pink or the silver is going to work. I've got some green gems. I know I want my red sequins. Some red sequins on each of these and that covers my red and glittery right plus bonus I might actually get to finish this packet and over here I want to add a few more things over here first, though. Let's see what else I have. Stars? No. Those stars? No, not really. Got some letters here. Could see if I could spell out cookies. Santa. 
because the the brown works with my craft uh, paper just next to it too so problems getting those sort of the, the insides out like the middles out and you can see that the E there actually ripped the first one I was trying to get that middle bit out. So FYI oh when I forgot to dot my eye speaking of eyes I don't this might be too finicky it's like so teeny tiny this little dot Let's see if I can do it but if you have any of these letters just FYI, those middle bits don't like to come out. All right, so let's add some little sequin goodness. I put a little stocking because I sort of felt that that was appropriate for Santa. I think I'll just add the two there actually. Um, I think. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while is one of these guys. I've been trying to put one in for a little bit. There we go. Okay. So those ones are done. Let's bring in my page protector and stick them in. There. Where did that go? Too many things on my desk now. So this is sort of out of chrono chronological order, but I'm not going to get all bent out of shape about it. And I think I can put my flip pocket pages in here as well. I think the ink's probably dry by now. So it's got this adhesive strip on the back that you just peel off just like you would double-sided tape. And then I'm actually going to put it over the holes just for some extra protection. Do I want it all the way down? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it all the way down. And you will be able to see the 24 peeking out, but I'm not worried about that. And then I'll get my crocodile. And punch through those holes and then once we're all done I'll put it in my book and show you what it looks like okay so then we can work on the back side what is here and I need yeah, I'll put one of these Use that love that love this with that and you shine with this because why not uh, I have so few labels left I'm tempted to use them all up I know I do have um, 25th still to go but that is really it because I don't continue my journal through January 6th like Chanel does I am basically done by, well, by now, really. All right, so. I've got a couple of 
stars here. One is pink. And one is sort of a peachy color. I was thinking that, that it would be nice to bring one of those into this. Um, I'm just not sure the best way. So I'll think about that. And then I'm, I've got kind of a lot of blue happening. But then this is very red. So that's why I'm cutting out all these different colors of labels here. See which one I want to use. Not cutting them very straight, apparently. I mean, I did layer three different colors on that very first page that had the photo of our elf from actually the day before this. So I could repeat something like that. Can't get all three colors without encroaching on the um, the house here. I could stagger them somehow. Um, I've got a little green one here that I can put off the end. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay. Spot for this you shine. Just to fill in that gap. Okay. Um we need some red glittery. That'll be my thing. Maybe I'll just have two. Right? Two's okay. Whoops. Stick it back to the sheet. It wants to stick to my finger. Okay, so maybe I will put this down first. And then the photo on top. And have the photo right near the bottom. I was thinking be nice to have something behind it, like a little layer. Yeah, something like this. Just to give it that bit of a frame, I find that when you frame the photos or, you know, something that is a little bit special, so maybe it's a journaling block or an embellishment or you know, a piece of ephemera or something, when you give it that little bit of frame, in a color that contrasts with the photograph, it just helps it pop out and it helps people notice it. And Add my glitter. And I think I'm going to use one of these labels here. Or 
part of the reason that I'm trimming this is because the whole sheet has been cut so badly that it's not even. And I really want the yellow. Just the pink and cream. Okay, I'm going to call this one done. I'm going to put these into their buckets. And then we can take a look at the finished day. Okay, so we start with actually something that's left over from day 23, picture of our elf, but then on the back. It's our elf from the 24th. And we go into let's make it cookies. And then end up with the evening. Okay, guys, that is it. Oh, yeah, I was said I was going to show you what it looks like. Oops, in the album. With that flip pocket and everything. My album's getting quite full. But I've only got the one day left. Okay. So there it is. Works quite well. Right? Okay. Only the 25th left. I have a great big stack of photos in there. Quite a few of them look like they've been printed small. So I might be trying one of those two by two pocket pages again goodness me. We will see what that looks like tomorrow. Uh, have a good night and I will see you then. Bye-bye.